everyone, it's Hazel here. This is going to be a slightly different video because normally I'm obviously giving you information about various topics or going through exam papers, but I thought it'd be good to make a video about myself, even though that sounds crazy vain and I hate saying that, but I thought it would be important for you to know a bit more about me so you understand that I am actually imparting some useful information and I'm not just some weirdo out there that doesn't know anything about science that you may or may not listen to. So I did biology, chemistry and maths at A-level and then I went off to Cambridge University, St John's College, the best college, to study veterinary medicine. So really by now I should be a vet. However, I don't know about you guys, but when I was 16 I had no idea what I wanted to do, I had no idea what jobs there were out there and just things like being a doctor, being a teacher, being a vet, the, the only thing I could think of is I need to go and do a degree that would lead to one of those things so I could have a job when I'm older. As naive as that sounds, so that's basically what I based my um, decision on with the vet medicine thing and then when I got my offer my family were like so over the moon they were like you have to go you have to go even though I was already having reservations about being a vet and everything that it would entail but everyone was so proud they were like off you go so off I went to uni um, I remember in that October and I was so scared oh my gosh I was terrified Anyway, I started my degree and I soon realised that being a vet wasn't for me, but luckily at Cambridge they break the degree down, so you have a six year course, but they break it down into your undergraduate degree and then your clinical years, which is when you actually focus on becoming a vet. So what I actually did instead was a three year more general science degree, which was more akin to the natural sciences degree at Cambridge, this is getting too detailed, but effectively I did a load of science at uni. After that I was like, mm, why not do a PGCE? So I went and did my teaching qualification also at Cambridge. But at this point I was only 21 and all my friends were going off and they were becoming teachers. And I don't know if you've already noticed, but my levels of maturity aren't great. So the idea of being 21 and teaching in a classroom was just ridiculous. I was still like a massive child myself, telling people off for swearing when I swear all the time. It just felt really wrong you know, telling people when they could sit down, when they could take their blazer off. I was like, who am I to tell you? So I'm, just, I'm sure you can be aware. It wasn't hugely successful. I mean, I hope I was a good teacher, but didn't really enjoy it. After that, I did lots of other things. I, uh, I worked at Butcher's, for one, called The Ginger Pig in London. It's amazing. So if you ever want some amazing meat, go to The Ginger Pig. Um, I also worked in TV as a production assistant and a runner. So that's when you kind of do or the um, fetching and carrying and looking after the cast or looking after the people that are working on TV. It was a really interesting job and I got to travel. I also did some presenting. I went to Ghana and presented a documentary about growing cocoa, so that was amazing. Um, but I've, I never feel pressured, guys, to like pick a career and be like set to it and like go for that for the next 50 years. It's so hard to know when you're young what you want to do. And the point is you can always change. And God, I've had so many jobs, I can't explain. I can't even remember all my jobs. I'm just trying to think of them now. But no, I've had loads of jobs and never feel pressured to pick one specific job and follow a particular path because you're always finding out stuff about yourself. And um, so what I did after I worked in TV, I found that the work was a bit too unreliable and I was desperate for some day-to-day -day contact, day-to-day -day work. So I went back to teaching and I taught in a school called Holy Cross. Hi girls, if you're watching, it's Miss Lindsay here. Um, you see, I found that really weird, being called Miss Lindsay. Really, really strange. Um, I'm Hazel, call me Hazel, don't call me Miss Lindsay. It was really weird that year. Um, so I hope again I did a great year, I hope I did a great job teaching in that year. But I, I don't know, teaching in a school just, it wasn't for me. Like I said, I don't like telling people what to do. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy the regimentedness of it, the schedule. Um, not a morning person, so getting up at like half six was totally not for me. Sorry guys, I have to get up at half six for school. But seriously, not for me, can't stand it. Um, and then someone asked me to tutor them. And I was like, well, why not? I love, I loved, the thing I did love about school is getting to know people and getting to know the kids. But the thing is, you never get to know people as much as you want because you're very much the teacher role. They're very much the student role and you have to discipline them, blah, blah, blah. So when I said yes to tutoring, I was like, well, why not? I can use all my skills, my teaching skills, get to know people, far more relaxed, um, get to be my own boss, which to be honest for me is really great. I'm not, I don't like being taught what to do, I'm really bad at it actually. So it works much better this way. So I started tutoring this person and then they recommended me to someone else and they recommended me to someone else. And then gradually I just grew this massive client list um, and I realized I could turn it into a full-time job. So that's what I did. I hope this isn't really boring. 
oh well, I'm sure someone will tell me down below in the comments if it is. Um, so I turned it into a full-time job, which is what I do now. I literally work full-time as a private tutor, going to people's houses, teaching science and a bit of maths when I feel like it, um, which isn't that often. Um, and, then, and then a friend said, well, if you're doing all your tutorials to people after school, why don't you do some on YouTube? And then that can support all the kids you already teach and it can support people who don't have tutors or need that extra bit of help, um, guidance. And that's where Science with Hazel came about. Um, I am a qualified teacher, so for the people that are telling me that I should teach as a job, thank you, but I've already done that, not doing it again. Um, and yeah, I hope you do find my videos useful, and if there's a new direction you think I should take, because I realise that it is quite dry just going through topics, um, exam questions, if you like this sort of thing, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be back soon. Bye guys! Um, by the way, my boyfriend said I shouldn't make this video now, because I had four of my wisdom teeth out last week, which was horrendous, and there's someone who eats all the time, like my number one love in life is eating, having your wisdom teeth out is a nightmare. And he told me I shouldn't film this video because my face is still quite swollen at the bottom, and he said I'd feel self-conscious. Uh, well, Martin, I made the video, and I hope my face isn't too swollen. Um, but yeah, I'll be back soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>